Okay, uh, the Hope One Hex withdrawal which starts on the 28th of March 2024 and in this video I'm going to be taking step by step on how you can qualify for this Open Hex withdrawal. And also if you watch this video till the end, I got a gift for you on how you can withdraw the Core One from your strategy app to your Metamask. So don't fade away, watch till the end to get this gift. Before we proceed, make sure you subscribe to our channel and then turn on the notification bell to host so that whenever we upload a video you will be notified. So uh, we've opened her MetaMask right there and then you go see the network is on Polygon right there, Polygon network. So we have to switch from the Matic Polygon to a core network, okay, because the core is going to play a perfect role in this uh, OpenX exchange. Okay, so now the first we go do, we're going to go to the bottom of this uh, page and then go to this button. Okay, you're going to tap on it. It's going to load it up to this page. Okay, so once you get to this page, all you need to do is to tap on the search or type you have here right there okay you're gonna tap on it and then it's gonna take you to the page where you want to search the url okay so you're gonna uh, copy the first link in the description of this video or you follow the screen right there okay so i've copied the link right there so i'm gonna paste it i'm gonna tap on the paste paste okay so the url is uh, scan.call dao.org okay so we're gonna tap on the enter button so now it's called load us to the page right there you go see the call uh, minute page to so have the uh, call minute to our metamask we're gonna go to the bottom of this page go down go down now once you get here you go see hard call to metamask right there okay so you're gonna tap on it hard call then this message is gonna pop up. What you go do? You're gonna tap on this confirm button right there, okay? Because we wanna confirm that we want to switch the network to the core network. So you're gonna tap on the confirm button right there. So you're gonna see switch network right there. So you're gonna tap on it. Okay, you can see right on the screen, uh, switch to the core network. And there are things to keep in mind. One is the native token on this network is called, it is the token used for gas fees, okay? And then again, if you uh, attempt to send asset directly from one network to another, this may result permanent loss. So, no, if you're sending out call, make sure the address should be a call address. Okay, so let's go tap on the got it button. Okay, now for us to confirm if we have successfully switched to the call network, we're going to tap on this wallet button right there. Okay, tap on it and then go to the home page of this MetaMask. You will see uh, we got call network right there as our main uh, network. Okay, and you will see call already being added. Yours, uh, you might not see any core balance mine you've seen this core balance because i already had core in my wallet before okay so we successfully added the core network to our metamask you can see the core right there so what is the next thing to do the next thing to do is to add the open network to our metamask as well so to do that all you need to do is to go to the browser button right there tap on it and then it's going to load you to the browser page once you get there all you need to do is to tap on the tray button right there okay because i have three tabs right there so going to open it and then tap on the plus button to add a new tab so uh, once you get there what you need to do is to go straight to the search or type you have her button right there and then it's going to take you to the page where you insert your you have health okay so to do that what you need to do is to go to the description of this video and then copy the second you have her right there okay i've copied already so i'm going to click on the page to paste in tap on the page then this is the you have her the url is long dot swap dot open hex dot network okay so you can uh, pause this video, type in the URL, and then click on the enter button. So now it's going to load it up to the uh, OpenHex network uh, testnet page. Right? Okay, note this is not the main net. Okay, this is a testnet. So to proceed in adding the OpenHex to Amidamas, the first thing you go to, you're going to tap on this connect button right there. Okay. So you're going to tap on the MetaMask image right there. Then you're going to click on the connect. Okay. To connect the open hex to a uh, metamask you tap on the connect so connected and active so now you go see this pop up on your screen which says uh, allow this site to hard network okay so we want to add the open x testnet to uh uh metamask okay so we need to tap on this confirm button to confirm that we want to add the open hex to our metamask so we're going to tap on the confirm button tap on it and then uh, waiting for it to connect you go see a uh, new network added so we want to switch from the core network to the open network okay so we're going to tap on the switch network right there okay good you have switched to the open x long test net okay so we're gonna tap on that got it button got it so you go see connected what it has been connected so now since we've connected our open hex to our metamask let's go to the uh, wallet page 
on setup on the wallet page you're going to see that only usdt is showing up right here but we have the open net long test nets switch okay as our main uh network okay on the metamask page but we only seen the usdt right there don't worry let's proceed on how to add the open x to our uh our dashboard okay so let's go back to the browser session tap on it and then the next thing you go do you're going to head to the open x right there okay you have usdt you have open x okay so now you want to tap on that metamask image right there okay tap on it you go see this uh message pop up on your screen so it's saying uh had the open x to our home page so we're gonna tap on the add token right there you will see imported successfully now let's confirm if this is true if we've successfully had the open hex to our uh home page dashboard okay so we're gonna tap on the wallet button right there now you can see the open hex has been added to our um mini dashboard okay so what is the next thing to do the next thing to do is to uh get usdt right there the open hex uh testnet usdt okay so to get this all you need to do is to go to this browser session you tap on it and then you tap on that three button right there tap on it and then you click on that plus a button to open a new tab okay it's going to load the hub to the new tab right there okay so once you get there you're going to go to the search or type you have here okay so it's going to load the hub to this page where you enter the url now to do that you're going to go to the description of this video and then copy the third link in the description of this video okay copy that link and then paste it right there okay to make it easy all you need to do is to pause this video and then you type in the url in your metamask browser and then you click on the enter button so you need to take this step very serious okay take it seriously so once you get there the next thing you go to you're going to tap on this connect uh, web3 wallet okay you tap on it and then it says a switch network okay you tap on the switch network right there call now active okay so you click on the connect button okay good we're done with that step now the next thing we go to in order for us to have the test net usdt to our wallet you're going to tap on the claim test net usdt right there okay uh before we proceed with the claim right there uh notes you'll be needing uh a call in your wallet for gas fee okay so if you follow to this uh to this moment i got a gift for you okay the first three persons that is going to drop their call wallet in the comment section of this video i'll be sending one call to each of you okay so the first three people dropping their call address i'm going to send the call to you so uh you're going to use that for the uh gas fee okay so no the gas fee is not even up to one call but i'm going to send a call for you as a gift for following from the beginning to this moment okay so proceeding you need to click on the claim uh, testnet usdt right there and then you go see processing okay they're checking if you got a call in your wallet okay so processing let's wait okay now this says uh, you need at least your point zero one call to uh enable this transaction okay so the first two persons uh dropping their call address i'm going to be sending one call to each of you okay so don't waste time if you hear that means you uh get this information right okay so drop your call address because i'm going to be sending one call each to the first three persons so the next we go to we're going to tap on the confirm button right there okay you go see transaction submitted right there waiting for confirmation okay still processing let's wait for the next thing to do so waiting for process okay you go see successful claim test net token your token claim was successful submitted please wait for uh, 10 block for confirmation okay good tap on the close button now let's go to our wallet to see if this works okay we are back to uh wallet and you go see the minute is on the call so we're gonna switch to the open x right there so to do that all you need to do is to go to the browser and then click on the on the four right there okay the four button okay now we're gonna go back to the uh usdt swap right there which is this one okay so once you get there all you need to do is to tap on this connect button again to connect the open x to your metamask and then you tap on this metamask image right there tap on it to connect okay connected successfully now let's go back to our uh, uh wallet right there okay tap on the wallet button okay uh you go see we got one usdt in our wallet already which is the testnet usdt approximately 0 0.99 dollars okay so we're done with this step okay if you want to get more usdt you can uh, click on that claim testnet as much as you can okay to get more of it okay for example if i go back tap on the browser click on the four button right there go to the uh, usdt claim page it's gonna load up and then i tap on the connect web3 again switch the network 
Then tap on the claim test net USDT processing. I'm gonna tap on the confirm. Okay, transaction submitted. Processing to confirm the transaction. Okay, you can see right here. Uh, claim test net token. Uh, your token claim was successful. Submit your please wait for about 10 blocks for confirmation. Okay, now let's go back to our wallet. So we're gonna tap on the wallet button right there. Tap on it and then it's gonna take us back to our dashboard and you go see it is on the core uh, network so we're gonna tap on the drop down right there and then select the open x right there okay tap on it okay now you can see right there we got two usdt and which is approximately 1.99 us dollars okay so that's how you can keep claiming the usdt okay now we have usdt but we have zero open uh exchange on how will it so how do we get the open x in how will it okay so to do that you need to go to the browser session tap on the browser and then tap on the four button right there okay now we're gonna head straight to the swap page okay this is the swap page so tap on it you can see our wallet being connected now we want to swap from we want to swap from the usdt to the open x so it says uh we got a uh, two uh, usdt and zero open hex okay so how much do we want to swap to the usdt so i think uh we want to swap uh, 25 percent of it okay 25 percent of my usdt to the open hex okay because you want to use 25 percent of our uh, usdt for the open hex exchange so we're going to tap on the 25 percent it is approximately 0 0.1 open x right there okay it says uh, one open x is equal to 4.6 usdt okay that means one open x is for US dollars. Okay, note this is for the test net, not the real OPEX minutes uh, token. Okay, so the price here is not real, but who knows the main the minutes price is also gonna be the same. Don't know, but this is the test net. Okay, so I think I should swap 50% of this. Okay, up on the 50%. I'm gonna click on the swap button right there to swap the USDT 50% to the open X. Okay, click on the confirm swap, accept because the price is gonna change. Tap on the accept button right there and then click on the confirm swap. Waiting for confirmation. Okay, so it's going to load us to this page for us to confirm this transaction. It goes to 0.995 USDT swapping to the open hex token. Okay, so we'll tap on the confirm button to confirm this transaction. Okay, transaction submitted. Waiting for confirmation. Okay, let's keep waiting. Okay, transaction completed. Now you go see submitted. So we'll tap on the close button. Tap on the close. Okay, uh, let's confirm if this uh, transaction went successful in our wallet. So we'll tap on the wallet button. Let's go straight to our wallet. And then you go see in our USDT, we got only uh, 1.00471 USDT left. And then in our open hex, we got 0 0.2132 open exchange token. Okay, that means the swap was successful. We got the step done. Okay, now what is the next step? Since we don't wait the hard on the call to the MetaMask, hard on the open hex to uh, the open hex testnet to the MetaMask, and then uh, getting the USDT and also swapping to the open exchange. Now, what is the next step to take? The next thing to do is to uh, go to the open exchange quiz. Okay, so the minute quiz, how can we pass that? So, to do that, you're going to go to the description of this video. Before you go to the description of this video, you need to click on the browser session, and then you click on the four right there. Tap on the plus button to open a new tab. Okay, uh, here we are on the new tab. We're going to click on the search or type you how how right there. So paste in the open hex uh, testnet quiz URL. Okay, get a link in the description of this video or you pause this video and then type in the URL right in your MetaMask and then you tap on the enter button. Okay, uh, this is the open hex testnet quiz page. The first thing you go to is to tap on the connect button right there because you're not connected. Okay, tap on the connect. Okay, also since we connected our wallet to this quiz page, the next thing we could do is to click on the start button. Before you click on the start button, you can read this. It says, so please be aware this is a part of the simplified KYC procedure uh, simulated for testing purposes on the testnet. The official version will be different. Okay, so this is for the testnet. The main version is going to be disclosed soon, but not now. Maybe I think that should be uh, 28th of March 2024. So uh, it says, so please select a familiar language to start the testing upon the computer and submission of the test you will receive 10 long test net usdt for testing okay so you go get 10 usdt test uh net token for passing this quiz okay so you can click on the start for english start on korean i think and then chinese 
to using English, you're gonna type on the English right there. Okay, sign. You now we want to participate in this uh, quiz. Good. Now it says, uh, what is a contract? That's the first question right there. What is a contract? So we have four options right there. So the right answer is A, which is an automated agreement written in code. Okay, that's what we simply known as a smart contract. Okay, we're going to tap on the uh, A right there, which is the first answer. Now going to the second question, it says, what is Bitcoin mining? So we got four options right there for answers right there so the right answer for this is c which is uh using computer hardware to solve complex problems and hand bitcoin rewards so go tap on the c right there okay going to the next question it says the tokens on testnet have a value we already know this doesn't have a value okay so i think it's no the answer is no so going to the next one it says what is blockchain here we got different answers right there i think the answer should be all of the above because the Above answers describes blockchain. I don't know what I guess so. So going to the next one, it says, uh, which user actions could pot potentially affect the price of a coin? I think it should be hey. So after answering all the questions, you could tap on the submit button right there. Tap on the sign button. 